The CAM APS FX app has a bolus calculator that people can use to deliver a dose of insulin for meals and snacks. However, there may be times that you eat or drink something containing carbohydrates but not want to bolus a dose of insulin for them such as when you are hypo or being active. When someone enters carbohydrates into the ad meal function, no insulin bolus is immediately given. Ad meal gives the algorithm information about the amount of carbohydrates on board which it uses as one of the factors when deciding how much insulin to deliver every 8 to 12 minutes. The algorithm will only give extra insulin based on the current glucose trends and what it predicts will happen to glucose levels over the next few hours. Due to the speed of insulin action, the algorithm may not be able to prevent high glucose levels if large amounts of carbohydrates are entered in ad meal. To use the ad meal function, open the CAM APS FX's main menu and tap on ad meal. You will be given three options to choose from. Meal or snack. Hypoglycemia treatment or slowly absorbed meal. Tap on the amount and use the keypad to enter the grams of carbohydrate. And press confirm to save. The hypoglycemia treatment is the one ad meal option we would recommend everyone uses. If you've had a hypo, please put the amount of rescue carbs you took to treat the low in ad meal. This records the amount of rescue carbs and helps you and your diabetes team look for patterns and refine the right amount of hypo treatment you need. Adding the rescue carbs into ad meal also softens the algorithm's calculation for the next little while to reduce the risk of having further hypos. Meal or snack can be used when a small amount of carbohydrate is being consumed, usually around 20 grams or less. Please consider giving a bolus via the bolus calculator to cover larger carbohydrate amounts. You can also use meal or snack for an unplanned dessert or extra portion eaten after a meal that has already been bolused for. Snacks when active or to prevent a low can also be put in meal or snack. People with an unpredictable appetite might like to split their bolus and give a pre-meal bolus for the minimum amount of carbohydrate that it will eat and putting the rest in meal or snack. The slowly absorbed meal gives people an option to manage foods that have a prolonged impact on glucose levels and are often higher in fat and protein. The initial rise in glucose levels after eating, for example pizza, will still need to be dealt with by giving a pre-meal bolus. However, by selecting the slowly absorbed meal option, you are notifying the algorithm that it might need to be more aggressive to deal with the delayed effect of the meal over a longer period of time. You will need to decide what proportion of the carbohydrates in the meal you will enter into the bolus calculator and deliver a pre-meal dose of insulin, and what proportion you enter into slowly absorbed meal. You will need to experiment with what split works best for you and the different meals you eat. Please note that this option will not work well if your insulin to carbohydrate ratio has not been optimized. Please seek advice from your diabetes team when necessary. Music